Real-Time PCRSA Efficiency Hallmarks of an Optimized Real-Time PCRSA The hallmarks of an optimized real-time PCRSA are Linear Standard Curve High Amplification Efficiency Consistency across replicates Real-time PCR inhibition and poor reaction efficiency Real-time PCR efficiency is one of the critical factor in real-time PCRSA development and optimization. A 100% efficient PCR result indicates a well-optimized assay development, below which indicates a need to further optimize the reaction parameters, which includes primer probe concentration, buffer optimization, etc. An accepted PCRSA efficiency ranges from 90% to 105%. A standard curve can be generated and efficiency can be calculated. Real-time PCR, causes of high or low efficiency. As mentioned earlier, an accepted PCRSA efficiency range for real-time PCRSA is 90% to 105%. An assay efficiency, above 105% indicates a possible inhibition in the real-time PCR reaction. The main reasons for inhibition in the reaction, is the poor quality of DNA or RNA used as template, use of high template concentration. Suboptimized extraction procedures to get the DNA or RNA purified, presence of high amount of chowtropic salts, which can inhibit tick polymerase activity. Low efficiency real-time PCRSA is mainly due to the poor reaction conditions or reagent concentrations which include suboptimized concentration of primers, probes, took polymerase, magnesium, etc. and the reaction condition includes improper or suboptimal thermal cycling. The problem with skewed efficiency in real-time PCR efficiencies outside the range of 90% to 105% may artificially skew results and lead to false conclusions, mainly because targets for comparison will have different efficiencies. In addition, inhibition and poor efficiency can affect assay sensitivity, leading to a smaller dynamic range and decreased versatility. How to check the efficiency of real-time PCR assay is skewed or not? The best method to determine assay efficiency is to generate a standard curve of template, diluted over the range of what will be encountered with the unknown samples and look at the efficiency over that range. It should be as close to 100% as possible. A dissociation curve, or gel showing multiple peaks, or products means there is a competition for reaction resources, that almost certainly will have an effect on the reaction efficiency. Resolution for poor efficiency or inhibition of a real-time PCR assay. Once it is found that the assay is not performing well as 100% efficient or inhibition is occurring, one should take steps to make the assay efficiency to an accepted range. One should strive to achieve an assay efficiency of 100%. The following steps can be used to get the desired assay efficiency. For inhibition, try to remove the highest concentration of DNA dilution and analyze the standard curve, this may bring the assay efficiency close to the desired range. This is because of the fact that, highest template concentration will also have the highest amount of inhibitors, while diluting inhibitors are also getting diluted to a level which is not inhibitory to the reaction. Repurifying the template is another option, this can also be done without much difficulty, use enough washing steps, to wash off chowtropic salts, which can inhibit the reaction. Assay optimization is another solution for poor efficiency. It is a laborious process, it can increase the complexity of the assay. Varying magnesium concentration can be accessed, from a range of 1.5 millimolar to 6 millimolar, which can improve the assay efficiency. Titrating KCL concentration can also improve the assay efficiency. Primer probe concentration optimization also plays a major role. Primer dimer issues need to be resolved, for better efficiency reaction and specificity and sensitivity. Sometimes primer needs to be redesigned for better results. Thermal cycling optimization also plays major role, this needs to be adjusted based on the TM values of the primers. PCR additives can also be considered for assay optimization. 
Following these should bring the real-time PCRSA efficiency to be in the range of 90% to 105%. Note, a 100% assay efficiency yield a standard curve slope of minus 3.32. The real-time PCRSA efficiency be calculated using the following formula. 